CLOC, or CLOCK, which stands for Count Lines of Code, counts blank lines, comment lines, and physical lines of source code in many programming languages. To install in FreeBSD, it couldn't be easier. You can do as, you can use sudo, I suppose, pkg install clock. Make sure you don't put the K at the end, it's very tempting. And it should pull down everything we need. It's only a very small program. So we'll yes, and installed. Doesn't take two minutes. To use this, I'm going to copy over a just simple uh, shell script. Uh, it was to set up some USBs, I think, from a while back. And there it is. And if I cut it, then we'll have a quick look at the, the scrolling text. I'll just type that out, thank you. And there we go. So it's just a normal bash script. If we just clear that, we can count how many lines of code are in this, how many blank spaces, etc. If we just put CLOC, clock, no switches, we'll just put the name of the file. There we go. And there we are. Tells you it's a born shell script. There's four blank and 21 lines of code. And uh, that's pretty cool. I'm not a programmer, but I could see this being very useful to say a programmer wants to get a feel of what they're working with. Also in the same directory I've just uh, put in while I was showing you that is an Abbey Word install uh, tar uh, archive. And we can also count the lines of code on all various things in that too, which is really useful. So you don't even have to expand it or unarchive it. So again, we'll just uh, I CLOC. I'll just highlight that to uh, get the full one. There we go. And look at that. It's counting them. It's going through it all, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And there we go. Tells you what text, C++, you know, you've got your Glad, SVG, Lex. It's, it counts everything. Uh, so yeah, I mean, for me personally, I, I can't really find a use for this. But if you're into programming, I can see this being very useful. So this is a useful little tool, little program for FreeBSD. You can you could do worse by putting it in your toolbox. There is no uh, man page for this uh, little program. This is kind of disappointing, but it has a lot of help switch uh, entries. And what I mean by that, if you just put clock and then double hyphen help, and uh, we're just going to pipe it into uh, less so it doesn't scroll. And I'm just going to go down. And you can tell that there are a lot of different variables and uh, switches you could use. On many of these, I have not got a clue. Uh, but if you're into programming, it will make sense to you. And for such a small program, it actually uh, it's got quite a lot of options. So that's pretty cool. If you want some more information on how to use it, if you go to the GitHub page, and you can see that the author has put in lots and lots of help. Far more detail than this uh, video can go into. You know, really knows his stuff on this. And uh, yeah, it's very, very good. I've covered DMI Decode before on this channel, but I thought I'd just give you a nifty little trick that I saw. If you want to find the serial number or model of your motherboard, you put DMI Decode double hyphen type, and you get various options that you can choose from. And in this case, we want baseboard. So if you just uh, copy and paste that in, there we go. And if we just press enter, there we are. We get all the information that we want about the baseboard of this computer that we're running on. And so if you ever need to order a spare part or you've got a question about to the manufacturer, you've got all the information that you need at hand without having to open up the computer, of course. You can use a slightly more condensed version of the command. Uh, so you don't have to double hyphen. You just put DMI decode hyphen T and then two for option two, and it will give you the same information. And of course, if you just want the actual board serial number without having to look at all the rest, there's not that much there, but if you even want to condense it down even further, if you just pipe it into grep, uh, hyphen I and then serial, there we go. So this is a, a handy, quick little trick that uh, I thought I'd share. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. This and every other video on my channel has been made using FreeBSD and open source software.